Hi, I'm Valentino, and today I'm going to talk to you about Open Broadcaster software, which I use to record locally and stream to Twitch.tv all my gameplay sessions of Planet Side 2. These are the settings I use to get the highest quality for my system specs and for my bandwidth. When you open up Open Broadcaster Software, or OBS, it will look similar to this. Your scenes and your sources will probably be empty. In order to add them, all you have to do is right click, click Add Scene. Scenes are kind of like, well, scenes. You can flip through them, different cards if you want. You can have a title screen or an idle screen, and you can even set these to hotkeys. So for example, if you were going AFK for about 15 minutes, you could set up a hotkey that switches to the next scene, which is just a still image that says you'll be back in 15. I only have one scene set up here, which I normally use for gameplay. I've called it game, just so I know what it is. Right now I'm recording my desktop, which is a little bit different. But when you're recording Planet Side 2, you'll be adding from Game Capture, which pulls directly from DirectX. Because it does this, you can't use overlays such as the TeamSpeak overlay while you're in game recording. If you would like to use that, you could try Record from Window. But be aware that the DX pull will be a lot quicker and a lot more efficient on your processor, and you'll get much higher quality. I'm going to go through the settings real quick. You'll see in their general, I speak English. That's all I want the UI to be. We're going to start getting to something more important. And this is for local streaming. We'll do first. Under encoding, you want to set your quality balance to 10. You want to set your max bit rate to about 8,000. This basically means that when it's saving, it's going to do very light compression. Under broadcast settings, you want to do file output only and select where you want the video to be recorded. Here you can see that I have selected my base resolution, but I could set it to anything. If you do downscale it, you need to set what you want your filter to be. Bilinear is usually the best. Under audio, you can set up push to talk if you'd like. I normally have it set to my TeamSpeak key. That way people don't hear my key presses on my mechanical keyboard. You may have to use the mic auxiliary boost. Normally, mine's set to about 10. Under advanced tab, and this is only for local, we're going to select Custom X264 Encoder Settings. And inside the little box, you're going to put CRF equals, and then a number between 1 and 20. The closer it is to 1, the higher quality of the video is going to be, but you're going to get a really big hit on your performance. I found that 15 gives me really, really high quality video, and the performance hit is negligible. Again, this is only for local recording. You wouldn't be able to stream these files. They're just too large. The frames you'd be sending would be obscene. Once that's set up, you just go ahead and stream. If everything's set up correctly, you'll be able to pull from your DirectX screen, which of course you could select here. You'd see like Planet Side 2 here. And another thing I set up, at least with Planet Side 2, is since it's a dark game and because of how video compression works, they don't chop off the colors in any kind of evil, uh, equal standing. What they do is they look at all the blacks in your color and they take out a large portion of those in order to compress. And for the whites, they normally keep those a little bit more pure. So what they'll do is try and take out the extremes of each color ranges 
but they're gonna take off a lot more from the black colors. This makes videos really, really dark. So I normally gamma correct by about 1.25. The default is one. This assures that any video I record at nighttime in the game is still visible and doesn't look too dark. It washes out the daytime colors a little bit, but not noticeable to most players. Now, if you're streaming to twitch.tv, you need to make sure that you turn off the custom X264 encoder by just unchecking this box. It will remember the settings you had in here, so you don't have to rewrite it each time. Under video encoding, you probably want to set your quality balance to about 5. That's a nice level to start with. And you can mess with this on your own computer in order to see which one's better. I believe 1 is better than 10, but for the most part, I've noticed a negligible difference when switching between them two. Max bitrate and buffer size is entirely based on what your upload rate is. Go to speedtest.net and see what you upload at. And then pick something around that number. My upload rate is pretty crappy, but I can normally get a pretty good quality stream with about 2,000 in each one. So when I'm not recording locally, these numbers are 2,000. If you've noticed that your bandwidth is still a little bit hung uh, starved, so if you're watching your stream and you're watching it like stutter or freeze on a few frames and then catch up with itself, or just start going into a slideshow, it means you're using too much bandwidth. So you need to either set this number lower to about like 1,500 or 1,000, which will again increase the compression of your stream, in other words, more pixelated. Or what you could do is you could go to your audio codec and find something a little bit easier to digest and upload. You might want to switch to MP3 and lower the bitrate to around 128. If you do that, the audio quality will suffer a little bit. But for the most part, most people aren't going to notice. People who are experienced in audio will definitely notice the, um, the hit, but they'll understand why you've done it. And then, after all that's set up, make sure under mode, you select live stream. You select your streaming service. You've put in your play path or stream key, which you can get through twitch.tv's account list. Then, if there's anything else you'd want, such like a delay, you could set it up here. The delay is in seconds, so if you wanted a 15 minute delay for any of your ops, you would have to do, you know, 15 times 60. If you would like to still save a local version of your broadcast using the stream settings, you could do save to file here. This way you could stream and save a copy just in case you want to upload it to YouTube. Or edit it later to make a highlight reel. If you would like an icon or a logo on your screen, you could add it here just by going to Sources and adding an image or even image slideshow if you wanted. If you wanted a webcam, you can do Video Capture Device. Then you would do Edit Scene by clicking the button here, which I can't do right now because I'm streaming. And then you could move these elements around your screen. I have the view disabled right now because it gives me a small little performance hit when I'm actually streaming. But you can see that it records everything I can. So, if you have any questions, be sure to hit me up on Reddit, or send me a message through YouTube, and I'll try and get back to you. But these are the settings I found work best for me.